I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And let us start our video for today. Uh, before we start, you know, if you don't mind, invite your friends and don't forget not to give us like because all of you don't do that usually, as usual, unless people ask you, I don't know why. Before we start, I saw some people making comment and asking questions about the Bible and usually those are Muslims who claim to be Christians and always I know how Muslim he lie about being a Christian the second he say he's a Catholic, you know, all the Muslims are Catholic in the chat. Uh, one of them he said, well, how come Jesus, he was crucified in Friday, and then you Christian believe he died and he was buried in the tomb for three days. You know, Muslims are ignorant like they're a prophet. They think that Friday is the same as a Friday as today. The Jewish Friday start in Thursday, sunset to sunset. And this is what the Muslims even themselves, they follow sunset to sunset because both Muhammad he is following the lunar calendar which is by the end of the day when the sunset you have a new day not like today Friday start 12 o'clock in the middle of the night this is number one number two the Bible speak about the Passover Passover is a Sabbath but doesn't mean necessarily to be Saturday Saturday is a day in the week. It's called Sabbath, yes, but the Jews, they have many Sabbath, and any holiday is a Sabbath. Uh, this is why it says in the Bible, preparing for the Sabbath, the preparation day. Preparation day is always a day will come before the day which is considered as a Sabbath, but not necessarily a Saturday. As an example, uh, you know, in the in the in the year, there's uh, fifty two weeks of Sabbath, uh, but the Jews, because they are using the lunar calendar, that can change. For they add days in the end of every three years. Even in the in the sun calendar we use, we have to we have a something called lap year, but in the lunar calendar, the the differences is huge, so they have to add a couple of days every week, every every a few years. However, the Passover is a Sabbath. It's not Saturday, necessarily. It can be Saturday, depending on the calendar. But it can be Monday, can be Tuesday, can be anything. can be Passover, Passover. This is the Easter, which is, can be the first day. Uh, you know, you always have to be in the 15th of the month of Nisan. Uh, so whatever that day is going to be, that is a Sabbath. It doesn't matter what the day. It's in the end of the week, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, it doesn't matter. And this is the day we are talking about. So they were preparing for the Passover, which is a Sabbath. Uh, so in the in the same time, uh, you know, we can say, uh, like, obviously the Passover was maybe in uh, Thursday, because they are preparing for it in Wednesday. Uh, 
I mean, there is many, uh, but there is no confirmation about the exact date, to be sure. However, we as a Christian, when we celebrate the Easter or the Passover, we are celebrating the occasion, not the day. As you see, the day can change. The day can be Tuesday, can be Wednesday, can be Thursday, can be Friday. You know, I'm talking about the Passover for the Jews. But uh, for the Christians, we it's confirmed for us that the Messiah, he was resurrected, he resurrected uh, in Sunday, which is, based on the Jewish calendar, start from Saturday. From Saturday sunset to Sunday sunrise. And then we can calculate the three days and we will find which day the Messiah was really crucified. Uh, crucified. But anyway, uh, people who make uh, such a question, it's good to ask, good to study. But usually people, they make questions like this, uh, you know, uh, you know, it just uh, they show two things. They show their ignorance. Uh, they are not really, they do not know anything about uh, what the Jews believe, the calendar, the occasion. What is the Passover? They speak about Sabbath as a Saturday, which is not really what, what we are talking about. Passover, Passover is not Saturday. It's Sabbath. Sabbath is any holiday you designate to God. So we have many Sabbath in the, the Jewish calendar. As an example, the Passover, uh, even in the first month uh, of Nisan, 21st uh, day, Passover, seven, seven, it lasts for seven days, you know, that occasion. It's not even one day, which means all of them, they are really a holiday. Uh, and then you have other, uh, you know, uh, occasion, where the Christian, we as a Christians, we celebrate fasting, you know, we have a big fasting, a small fasting, the fasting for the Easter and the fasting for Christmas. The starting of the fasting is considered as a Sabbath. Again, again Sabbath is not necessarily Saturday. It can be a day designated to God from your life, from the group of a, uh, from, from a life of an individual or the life of a group. So if they say this coming uh, Wednesday, is going to be considered a day for God. That is a Sabbath. Sabbath means stay still, do nothing. Do nothing except worshiping the Lord. Do nothing. That is a Sabbath, you know. It is the day where you do nothing except praising the Lord, praying to the Lord, serving the Lord. So people, they have a lack of information, but it's okay. We are here to help. Now we go back to our topic, which is uh, who is Allah? Uh, I made a video just yesterday and the Muslim he answered and I say thank you for answering w wonderful answer even though I find it very laughable but we are going to show what is the answer is uh, Mr. Say Sayadubu Sayadu is saying not a single Muslim knows who is Allah. Christians, you need to get your fund, rate, uh, fund star, fraud star, to the nearest uh, psycho facility. Christian Prince said he knows Islam more than any Muslim. Yet asking such a question, where in the scriptures did God describe in details exactly who is God is? How come did the Christian Prince does not know? Quran chapter 24 verse number 30, 35 I don't know what to say I will let Zakir Naik answer you so we can start our comedy show listen and I hope you are here by the way I would love to you uh, to call me that will make it even better comedy this is a Quran Yuka explain who is Allah listen carefully and then I will go to the chapter you choose for us and then don't blame me for reading the chapter you chose for me. It was your choice. All right? Not mine. Let us hear what Zakir Naik is saying. Very important question that he wants to know one thing which has been always in his mind. What is the definition of Allah and Islam? And the definition also includes many things which is negation. And it contradicts the definition of the other faiths. In fact, in Islam, 
the definition of Allah says what Allah is and also says what Allah is not. Besides knowing what God is, it is also important to know what God is not. So that if someone falsely claims that so-and-so is God, you can easily come to know this is a false claim. As far as the reply to what is the definition of Allah, the best reply that any Muslim can give you is from the Quran, from Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kuffanad. There is nothing like him. Okay. There is nothing like him. All what you said does not tell me who is Allah. Because there is nobody like Jibreel. As an example, the Muslim believe in Gabriel. He is begot, neither he begotten. So if this is the description of God, Jibreel and the rest of the angels, they are God. No one like Jibreel. No one. There is two Jibreel? No. Even the Muslim, they agree on that. So here you see how silly and how stupid the answer the Muslim they, they give you. We ask them who is Allah. They start telling us Allah did not give birth. Who's your mom? My mom, she did not give birth. Oh, okay. Who's your dad? Hey, my dad did not give birth. Mm -hmm. What? What does this have to do with, even with the question? And then he said at the end, nothing like Allah. But look what you did. You are the one who asked me to go and read chapter 24, verse number 35. And you see, I am the one who pinned. You see, if a Christian uh, says something in a Muslim, Muslim form, they would delete it. I pinned the Muslim answers. I put it in the top. You see, it says pinned by Christian Prince. We just heard a verse from the Quran saying, nothing like Allah. And then you say to me, you, well, how come you do not know that Allah is the same as a tree? This is the chapter you gave to me, chapter 24, verse number 35. And I'm willing to change any to any translation you like to read. Even though I don't believe any Muslim translation is a truthful, not only not right, I accuse them of deception and lying, intend to lie in their translation. But look what we have now. The Muslims, we just heard Mimi Hijab saying to Borat, if this is a book made by Allah, not by Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. We just heard the monkey of YouTube, the Quran and Yuka, saying nothing like Allah. And then Allah in the same book says, Allah is the same as a tree. Read carefully. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. By the way, the same Zakurani Yuka, he said, that the word Nur mean reflection light. Even though this is not our topic now, but just to show you the stupidity of the Quran. Actually, you know what? Let me show you what Zakar Naik said about that. Because that will help us to understand who is Allah. All right, I'm finding uh, the Quran Ayuka. And by the way, not only him who say that, all the Muslims, they are copy paste as usual. No brain. And this is why we laugh. This is the Quran Ayuka. The Quran mentioned that the light of the moon is reflected light 1400 years ago. Is that something created by a Christian prince? No. Is that something mm, translated by me? No. Mm. Previously, the scientists, they thought that the light of the moon was its own light. 
But Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, Blessed is he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has made the constellations in the sky and placed therein sun, that is a lamp, having its own light, and moon, having borrowed light. The Arabic word used for the... The moon, remember carefully, the moon have what? A borrowed light. Did I say that? Or Zakka is a Quran Yuka? This is your sheikh. The, the, the moon have a borrowed light. Borrow. What is the word for the borrowed light? Listen carefully. The big word used for the sun in the Quran, it is Shams. And its light is always described as Siraj, Wahaj, or Diya which means a torch having a light of its own or a blazing lamp or a shining glory. Always the light of the sun is described as Wahaj, Siraj or Diya, meaning a light of its own. Remember, this guy he doesn't speak Arabic, but he is teaching you what Arabic word means. But continue. The Arabic word for moon is Kamar, hmm. and its light is described as Munir or Noor, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Okay, so the word Noor is what? Is reflected light or borrowed light. People, did I say that? Or the Quran Ayuka, he said that. I will play it again in case you are a Muslim and Shaitan, he did urinate in your ears as your prophet said. Because look like most of you have that infection. Shaitan, he target your ears, your penis, your anus, your belly bum, your nose, he's all over you. Any hole he is there. And there's holes in the narrative. So what is the word Noor? Listen carefully. And its light is described as Munir or Noor, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Wonderful. Now we go to the verse you gave me. And then we will find that Allah is borrowing Noor. This is the word Noor. Allahu Noor is Samawat wal Ard. Allahu Noor is Samawat wal Ard. What the Muslim translate, translate, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth, but this light is reflected light, is a borrowed light. So either you have to make a comment now saying, well, the Quran Yuka is a donkey, or you say the one who wrote the Quran is a donkey. Because how Allah compare his nur to the nur, he say, I have nur, the moon have a nur. As you see, the sun, Zakir Naik says, the Quran says, Sirajan. Sirajan. You know, he says, I mean, suppose he's supposed to, you know, he knows Arabic. Sata, uh, whatever he said, I'm laughing. But if Allah light is a nur, and we heard with the evidence that Zakir Naik confirmed that the word nur is a borrowed light. Then Allah light is a borrowed light, and he have no light of his own. Because this is the same exact word used in chapter 24, verse number 35. Noor. In fact, this is the name of the chapter. <laughs> Do you see it? The name of the chapter is what? Noor. And now we discover that Noor is reflected light. In the best scenario, it's a borrowed light. Who said that? This is not a Christian prince. So now you cannot take it back. You say, oh, you know, we Muslims, we are stupid. We do not know what we are saying. You bring 50,000 people in the front of this guy. You spend the whole, at, at least, at least, you know, $2 million to make this occasion happen. 12 TV satellite, 12 satellite covering the occasion. And the guy is saying what he is saying. And not a single one of you Muslims says to him, you are wrong. That means this is what Islam believe in. That nur is a reflected light. It's a borrowed light. Otherwise, there is no way from all those thousands of people, which is a short time, witnessing this occasion, did not notice 
I mean, how many thousand they are? Look at this, look at this. There is not a single place in the Quran where the light of the moon is described as its own light. See? And the Arabic word for star is Najam, and its light is described as Saqib, meaning the light. <laughs> so all those people there, everybody listening, and he take what this guy is saying seriously. Who is the stupid here? So now, now we go back to the verse you gave me. And now you understand why I was laughing at you saying that. Because now from the beginning we discover that Allah, he is using a borrowed light. He doesn't have a light of his own. So, and he is not a light. It's a lie. Because as long as the word nur mean a borrowed light, so how he can be light if he is borrowing light? Are you with me, people? Can Allah be a light if the word used here is a borrowed light? He cannot. Because you cannot be something is borrowed. Something is not you. But I will let it go. Allah is the light and the heavens and the earth. The parable of his light, now Allah has given us a parable. He is a light, remember, but he is a borrowed light, borrowed light, and now he will give us a parable of his light. As a niche, there's nowhere it says as if there is, there is. This is something they add in the between brackets. A niche and within it a lamp. Okay, hold on. We just heard the word Noor mean reflected light. We just heard Zakarnaik saying in the chapter of Al Ikhlas that nothing like Allah. Let me refresh your memory in case you forgot what he said. He said at the end, nothing like Allah. If there is anything like Allah, no. Who said that? Allah. Meaning, let us go back to this one. Hold on. There is nothing like him. Did you hear it? There is nothing like him. Actually, the translation is stupid, but I will let it go. There is other verse saying, nothing like him. The one he is reading is just stupid. So, nothing like Allah. And then Allah, he says, I am like a niche. And the niche is a lamp, and the lamp is an olive tree. How I am nothing like me, and then Allah He compare Himself to a tree, and the tree have a lamp, and the lamp is in a niche. The lamp is in a glass, and. The glass as a wear a brilliant star, but we just heard the word Noor is not for a star. You remember? Zakir Naik, he just said, Noor mean, what? Borrowed light. And he mentioned what the Quran says about star. But here, the fact the translation is false. It says here in Arabic, and he said the word star is Najm, which is true. The war here is Kaukab, which is a planet, which is true. So Allah, his light is reflected light. Kaukab. Shiny Kaukab. If I write now the word Kaukab, can I say Kaukab al -ard? Yes. Here we go. Kaukab al -ard. You see it? Kaukab. This is the same word. Right away we say the earth. Kaukab al -ard. The Kaukab of the earth. Kaukab is not a star. Kaukab is a planet. We go back here. And now we find that Allah describing himself in a funny way, supposedly nothing like him. And now it turned to be that he is like a lamp in a niche. And the niche is in a tree. And this tree is an olive tree. Neither in the east. 
and neither of the West. The Muslim, they explain that saying, well, it neither get its rays from like uh, uh, in the in the early in the morning, or uh, nor it gets its rays only in the afternoon. But it is exposed to the sun all day long. I mean, somebody, you want to you want to laugh with me? How he is the light. And his light in a niche. And the niche is an olive tree. And now this tree is getting its light from the sun in the top. That because the earth is a flat and always the sun there is just stationary there. But how Allah is the source of light if the if his tree which is him now in this parable is taking its light from the sun and what the point of the light which is in the lamp which is in the niche if the tree itself getting its light from the sun then we continue and it says but it's ex expresses ex exposed to the sun all day long who is oil would almost glow forth okay but oil is not self-sufficient oil is not self-sufficient why because the lamp is an object and the oil is an object so the oil itself cannot be a lamp The liquid itself cannot be shiny. So what Allah is saying to us, He put oil in a lamp and then He light the lamp and this is Him. So Allah is not one unity or one person. Allah light is multiple sources of light. He borrow light he borrow olive oil the olive oil he put it in a lamp and the lamp is covered by a glass and the glass is inside a niche and then we have a shiny light it's not Allah alone making the light he need to have tools and objects and none of them is him If we ask the Muslim, what is the olive of oil tree present to Allah? Who is a Muslim can tell me. Any Muslim would help us? What is the olive present to Allah? You see, it says a parable. Any Muslim can tell me? They don't know. So now they gave us an answer, but the answer is more 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 crazy from the question itself. And still we do not know who is Allah. And how you say the same, you know, Allah, nothing like him, and then you compare yourself to a tree. And to make it more horrible, this tree have a lamp, and this lamp, it light up by fuel. What is the fuel of Allah? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> what is the fuel for Allah? You see, I'm, I'm, I'm reading a parable. Okay, the olive is a tree. The olive tree is a tree, we know it. Now we have the olive oil.
what that present and is Allah in the niche is Allah contained in a glass you see he is the one describing how he is similar to this if you say to me he is not a tree okay no problem if he is not the niche no problem but you cannot say to me he is not the lamp and the glass and the fuel can you in fact he cannot be the three of them because You know, the, uh, and, uh, when Allah, he chose an olive tree. Why the olive tree was chosen? The Muslim that might say to you, the olive tree is mentioned in your Bible. No wonder, no problem. But here we are talking about lamps. Everybody knows that they used to use olive oil for lamps. This is a land full of olive oils, olive trees. So Allah himself, he described himself as a tree. They don't have it in Saudi Arabia. He described himself as a lamp, which is in the niche. So he's contained inside the glass, inside the niche. Sound like a Buddha statues for me. So what we learn about this, nothing. Until now, we do not know who is Allah. What we have is more confusion, more confusion. The answer is silly and stupid and meanless. And the funny, this Muhammad, and he says to me, how come a Christian prince, he claimed that he knew everything about Islam, but don't he knew this? We mentioned this many a time before, and we laugh at it. Who is Allah? Everything in this verse is a contradiction for the Quran. We just heard Zakir Naik saying nothing like Allah. And then the Muslim, they say, we'll read chapter 24, verse number 35, because Allah, yeah, there is, there is something like him. There's a lot of things like him. He's like an olive tree. And now they cannot say, the one who is saying that he is just uh, you know interpretation this is the Quran Allah supposedly is talking Allah is the one is talking supposedly so Muslim they cannot say this is weak this is fabricated a story this is cannot be true any Muslim and the verse before it is speaking about effing women. Effing women who they are your sex slaves. The verse after it, Allah is the light of the world. Look like there is a connection. We have two Muslims are waiting. We are waiting for them. They said they want to join me. We will take one at a time. They are asking for some time, so we will take them. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us immediately? Until those guys are ready. The question is still there. Who is Allah? They do not know. Not a single Muslim he knew. I never met a Muhammadan. He knew what and who is Allah. Never. And I say to you, neither Allah himself can answer this question. Any Muhammadan? Do 
They don't know. You ask me who is my God, I say to you, the Messiah. Who is your God? They don't even know what Allah means. They don't know. 99% of the names in the Quran, not a single Muslim knows what they mean. Can I call? Yeah, you can if you are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, feel free. Do we want Muslim to tell us who is Allah? I know that this is a very hard question, but this is showing you how stupid this religion. Those people, they are worshiping unknown God. Israfil, he said, you pray to a statues. Well, Israel, Israfil, why you don't call me and give me the proof that we pray to our statues? Nowhere in the Bible says you can pray to our statues. That is against the teaching of Christianity and Judaism. However, if you want to say to me there are some churches they have statues, well, the Bible is so clear, it says, make no image of what above in heaven or down in earth. So this is a tradition have nothing to do with the teaching of the Bible. And they can justify it, but for me, I don't justify it. I believe it's wrong. However, what if I show you that your stupid Quran says that your Muslims have statues in your temples? If we go in the city Quran, I will type only one word, Tamathil. What the Matthew mean? Statues. Who is making statues to who? Look, the Muslim, even they took it off. This is why I say never take a Muslim translation ever. They took it off. Let us try a different translator. And then suddenly you will see the word statues appear. So according to the Quran, Allah, he command his messenger, the messenger of Allah, Sulaiman, to build a temple full of statues. Where is the word statues? I don't see it. It's gone. There's images. They said images. You see images? So there is pictures, but the statues is not there. Let us change the translator. Images. And now we see images. Here finally we find the Muslim saying the truth. Statues. You see it? Do you see it? Officially, in Islam, you can have statues in your mosque. Otherwise, you have to tell me why you lie to us and say that Solomon was a Muslim prophet and this is Solomon building temple full of his statues. Are you there, Mr. Lice Appreciator? And now he will play dead. He heard nothing, he saw nothing. Did you say anything, Christian Prince? No. He heard nothing. A second ago, he was a hero. A second after, he is plain dead. Why he have a statues? If Islam is against paganism, why? He, and if you ask the Muslims, by the way, if you read the tafsir, they say those are statues for a previous prophets. Some tafsir says for the angel Jibreel and the prophets. You can send me when you are done translating my book in Greek, my friend. Uh, first, I want to say thank you if you are working in that. Uh, you send me, you make a link in G Drive and 
I will ask somebody to open it for a security reason to check it. There's nothing, f you know, f fishy about it. And then I will publish it. You send it an email in Patreon. Patreon is for free. Just make an account and you can send me an email privately. What surah we are reading? This is chapter 34, verse number 13. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Let us see if this person is ready so we can call him. And then now we will see. Can you debate an agnostic? Agnostic is somebody who have no book. You debate him about what? There's nothing really to debate about. Let us take the call from this guy. I think he claimed to be agnostic. Hello? Hello? So you don't want to talk? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Is this Christian Prince? Christian, Christian Prince? Yes, my friend. You're, so you are agnostic? Uh, yeah, I, I have some questions. No, no. What? Uh, what? Know, first, before you know, uh, uh, forgive my ignorance. What agnostic mean? It means I believe in God. Okay. But I don't want to. I don't want to associate my belief in God to Christianity, okay. Islam, or any other religion. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of religions are misguided. Mm -hmm. um, for one, you know, I, I listen to you all the time, and definitely you make a lot of sense with with um, with Islam. I, I, I you know, now I, I definitely understand a little bit more about Islam and how how ridiculous how ridiculous it is. Okay. But also, when you when I listen to Christian, because I, I was raised Christian, okay. but Christianity as well. I mean, how can anybody believe that there was a man named Noah hmm. who built an ark? Okay. And got two animals of each sex and okay. put them all on a boat and okay. survived. How is that even any in any way or shape or form even possible in this world? Okay, you said to me you believe in God, correct? I believe there's something out there. I don't have all the. No, answers. no, no. I mean, not... you just said God, and you're you're changing your mind. Someone out there in the closet. The thing is, if we want to name it, if we want to call it God, sure. No, no, I believe that there... no, no. You see, yeah. I'm, I'm not the one who named it. You said to me. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I said God. So, is he God or not? You know, give me the answer, please. Uh, the 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 reason why I say God, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And that's just because it's the general term of I don't know what it is. I believe that there is some so, form of higher power. So, okay, this form of higher power is what exactly? We can call it God then. Yes. Okay. No problem. The second we say God, does that mean almighty power or like limited power? The thing is, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, okay. I, I believe that so there is you want me to debate? Mind. I want you. I want you. Want me to debate someone? In the start, when I ask him what is the thing he believe in, he said to me, "I do not know." So how we can debate about anything? Okay, but let me ask you this. Let me ask you a question, right? Yeah. If I if I told you today, hey, I was listening on the news, and apparently there is a guy who had a staff. And he was able to split water into half and let people walk through the water. What hmm. would you say to me? Would uh, you say, uh, that's uh, insane, I will, that's I will, crazy? I will say you are an ignorant because this is not what the Bible says. It's not, it doesn't say that Moses, he used a magical stick and he made the ocean. This is God, he split the ocean. Same time with the Pharaoh, when he threw the stick, God, they said his magic overcome their magic because they thought this is a magic. This is the same. We see the Jews in the Talmud. They, they claim in the Talmud, not in the Bible, this is the book of the Antichrist, says obviously the Messiah, he did a lot of miracles. And how he did that, he was practicing magic. He went to Egypt and he learned magic tricks from the Egyptian uh, uh, ma magic master. And he came back to Israel and he was practicing magic. So he made the blind see and he made the one who cannot walk walk. So they admit he did that, but they claim it's a magic. So you do not understand even what the Bible is teaching. 
you do not understand who is the one you call him superpower or maybe it's just a trans transmitter for electricity or high voltage you know electric column maybe this is god for you or what you are saying i don't believe in law i want something logical but nothing in no. your belief is logical because simply the second i say god nothing is logical when it's come to god because my logic is my logic my ability it's not logical for me to fly unless i have an airplane do i agree i completely agree with you, okay right but i but cannot make why, a blind that man why the that, 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 that I, is why the statement that i said that, that i said earlier there yeah. is no there would be no reason for you to not believe that there is a miracle that happened yesterday yeah right? so the so story of somebody, noah the story of noah somebody, and the story of noah is nothing but a miracle who said to you this was not a miracle because the whole purpose of it is what is destruction of those who disobey god and let noah and his family start a new life so if you believe it is impossible for God to make animals subdued and make him join animals in his ship, well, this is a different story. If you are talking about logic, uh, I believe that God, he can save, you know, millions of animals, even if there is a flood. What, what you read in the Bible, you will not see he put all the animals. He said seven pairs of animals. So you do not even know how to read the Bible. Seven pairs present what? present what he need to survive. From every those animals he put in with him. You are watching too much cartoon, too much movies, and you are thinking that this is the Bible, but you do not know really what the Bible is saying. So those pairs of animals who they are, his lifehood based on them, he took him in the ship. And I believe God can, either he can re save as many animals he want, or he can create a new. You know, isn't it God who created those animals in the beginning? He can create them again. He can say, let be, elephant, elephant will be. So either we believe in superpower, as you call it, or this superpower is not power at all. It's a power off, not power on. So which one is yours? The one that I'm stating when I say God, I don't believe necessarily God has to be a person or some something. It could be just maybe the world started with a sound or I don't know. I, I, no I problem. Mean, I, Somebody. I would, I would more okay. The science, the scientific fact no problem. We, we scientific fact. Today. Scientific fact. You know, there is somebody that fart and then the whole world is start with the fart, you know, sound. You know, that's funny. When you say to me scientific fact, did you just uh, see the news that the Big Bang turned to be a joke? This is just, uh, you know, uh, three months ago, and there is a big uh, a scientist, he is an atheist, I think his name Kokaku something, Kaku, something like you look Japanese. So he said he have to write all his books about Big Bang. This is one of the earliest scientists who speak about Big Bangs. He wrote, he is a, he is a big scientist, and he said he have to write all his books about the Big Bang, because all, the, all their numbers turn to be stupid, all I, the I uh, oh, oh no hold on oh do you see science you see no 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 you see no no I'm not talking about article I saw I saw his videos I saw what he's saying he have a channel on YouTube he's a big scientist there was, there's there's many channels on YouTube no 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 he is he is he is he is a big scientist he is not a joke okay he is not I understand what you're saying I am not I am not is a theory is a theory is a theory exactly so you are assuming now you are not you said to me science a second ago but now it's not a science it's a theory so what is the science okay but what is the science between saying that we come from two people Adam and Eve is there any proof at all exactly there's you're asking me if there's any proof ask your mom how they made you so your state, so Christian, it's no, no, we have a proof. We have a proof. Do you have the opposite? Your mom and your dad decide to go to bed and they made a mistake and they have you. Well, we have more proof that, that we, there's evolution in our, in our genes. No problem. We have evolution, but all of them, nobody can prove that a human being used to cock, to be, to be a cockroach. Human being was always a human being. They could not prove anything. This is just okay, garbage. But nobody, nobody can prove that there was, we came from two people on this earth. And no, else, because as long as this is the only proof you have, this is the only proof you have. This is the only proof. It's called the proof. We have a woman. We have a man. Not, that is listen, real. The rest, what, the rest is is word in the papers. The rest is nothing but words in the paper. So look what you are doing. You switch what is real. We have a male sleep with the female. They have a baby. You say 
We cannot say this is the proof when we have it for real. But then you come to me and you write something in a paper, something nobody witnessed, somebody never saw, and there's no proof of it. And you take that as science versus what we have. My point again is, I'm not an atheist. I don't not believe in. I am not saying you are an atheist. There, you are, but, but you, I'm, I'm but you are saying the, no. The stories, in the, the stories in the Bible are also not. There's no way you can actually read that and think that this is real life. I, I mean, maybe it's possible. Okay, I, I want to ask you. I, I want to ask you that maybe there's something out there. Let us make it simple. Let us make it simple. In faith, I can't wholly faithfully believe that the Bible is the right book because even the the stories in the Bible to me don't make any sense. The stories in Islam don't make any sense. And yes, maybe there is a God, but who says it's, it has anything to do with Christianity? No problem. But uh, you say there is a God, but have, oh, you know, so they, okay, give me a solution. What is the God you choose? So you are just making things up now and you don't know what you are saying. No, no, no hold on, let me answer all, you. Let me answer Egyptian, you. Let me answer you. The about, Egyptians believed in many gods prior to even. Okay, do you worship, they, they, do, you, they, they, do you worship, do you worship any of them? I don't, I, I, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm no, I understand. You are saying there's somebody out there, you know. I mean, this is even there's is, something. There's something. Something that out there that may okay. have created. Okay. Okay. You just said to me you believe in evolution. You just said to me you believe in evolution, and now you are saying to me someone right there or something created. I'm saying that there is more proof uh -huh. within the evolution. But the, more, but the evolution, the evolution is not against the Bible, my friend. There's more facts. The evolution is not against the my friend. Christian parents, you're not letting me talk at all. I am letting you talk. Let me. You make a statement. You make a statement. You make a statement. Let me make a comment about it. You can continue. We have time. So evolution is not against the Bible. Evolution, in the way we understand it, that God He gave you ability to adopt situation. As an example. People who live in the mountains, human, not animals, they have bigger chest and bigger lung. Why? Because there is less oxygen. But doesn't right. mean that one day used to have to be bear and now they became a human. Or doesn't mean that one day you used to become chimpanzee or used to be chimpanzee and now they became a human. This is the evolution according to Christianity. According to you, you believe in something nobody can prove. Can you prove to me that a human used to be a chimpanzee? Listen, that's exactly why I'm saying I can't prove exactly that science is the all and be all and no scientist will tell you that it's factual that evolution is real because there hasn't been a full linking uh, proof of anything yet. But at the same time as well, when you look at the Bible, there's nothing that can show me that there's anything in this in this book that is real. There's no proof of anybody. And what is real for you? I, what is real for you? Real is where where are some of like maybe maybe I I don't know like anything to show that there's any of these miracles that actually happen. Well, these those miracles happen until now, my friend. You are ignorant. You can go. You will see miracles happen every day in the name of Jesus. So you are ignorant. What kind of miracle? Well, All kind of miracles. Miracle just just so every every you know I me myself I witness a miracle. I have. I, I, okay, I know I know someone she was dying she was dying doctors they told her they told their parents she can't even talk she can't even go to the bathroom they told them you are wasting your money we can't do anything to her just they took her to the most expensive her family are rich they are wealthy they took her to everywhere and they told them that's it I mean even her hair is gone her eye brows is gone I mean she lost she cannot even walk she cannot she cannot move she cannot hardly she can say a word she is dead that's it so uh, uh, they say they decide because their daughter she was a very uh, faithful uh, person. She they said, well, if she died, let us die in the church. That's it. So they asked the priest to put their daughter. Maybe she will die tonight. Maybe tomorrow. We do not know. Can we please, if you don't mind, just as an act of mercy for her because she feel better to put her in a bed in the floor. We will not bring even a bed. We will bring like something to sleep on. And her mom will sleep next to her. Can we do that? The priest, he said, sure. You know, and they were expecting by the morning, maybe, or the day after, would be dead. Her mom, she, at the middle of the night, she did not find her daughter, but her daughter cannot move. She can't walk. She have a tube to her. She can't even pee. So, she went crazy. Where the daughter? She found the daughter praying, standing, and she is fine. They took her back to the hospital. They did every research, every study. They could not understand what they say. And they said to her, well, this is a miracle. 
and they are atheist doctors. So we have miracles happening in the name of Christ every day. We don't make too much noise about it because it's something normal to happen. God is exists is true. People who decide to see, as an example, we have every every Easter, we have light coming from the empty tomb of Jesus. Some people they will say, "Oh, this is the Christian are lighting light." You can say okay, whatever before, you want. Hold on, my friend. Before you keep going, before oh. you keep going, because you, oh. you finished with the story, I just want to add something before you keep mm. going, right? Mm. So you are telling me that we should practice this more for people that are on their lying breath and give them hope and put them in church and see if they miraculously might revive. Yeah, uh, can, I, can, 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 can I say that you are stupid? Can I say to you you are stupid without hanging up? Can I say that? Why is, why is that? Because you are stupid. I did not say this is happening to everybody. Did I say that? Because everybody now, right. he have this, he will no, go. But, no, but there, when God, he do miracle, God, listen, happen. listen, you do not even know what miracle mean. Jesus, he did not make every blind person in his time see. He did not make everyone who cannot walk, walk. He did not make everyone who cannot speak, speak. He did not control all the oceans in the, around the world. He made individual in, in incident. So you are being stupid again, and you are asking God to heal everybody so you can be satisfied. Take care. We have a Muslim trying to call me. We give you more than enough time. How are you saying we are going to take everybody to the hospital? Stupid people, you know? Yeah. Let us see the Muslim. All right. <laughs>
Okay. I can give you an so, give me an example. Yeah, you take a look at the existence of the B. Existence you know of, of what? B, B. B, okay, B or not to be, that is Shakespeare. That is the question. Okay, what is the B? Tell me about B. You know what a B is? Yeah, I know the B is the, the one they bite you. Okay. Yeah, hmm. this was a experiment I saw. It's not from my own experience, but it's something that I saw. Uh -huh. but it makes perfect sense. Okay. Why the A is the creator. Okay. So you see the, B, the average temperature needed in a beehive is 35 degrees. Uh huh. Need to survive. It's 35 degrees. What does it have to do with proving Allah? I, I, I believe that God, I'm, I'm not an atheist, my friend. I believe that God, He created the bees. No problem. So you are trying to tell me something have nothing to do with my question, but let me show you. The Quran in chapter 16, verse number 68, gave us a very false information. Allah, he said, that the bees, they eat from the fruit and they poop honey. So according to the Quran, the, 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 the bees, they eat fruits and their poopoo is honey. Allah don't understand that this is not their poopoo. This is their food. They don't eat the fruit. They eat the honey. This is your Quran, chapter 16, verse number 68, 69. Go ahead. Okay, one, one moment, one moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. And feed from the flower of any fruit. My translation. What flower? Where it says the word flower? Yes, it says it here in the... Well, translation. that's false translation, my friend. It says thamarat. Thamara is a fruit. Thamarat is a fruit. They lie to you. See, that is where the English translation is flawed. Okay, I don't care, I, my my friend. You can you can copy the word. I show it to you. You can copy it to Google right. Translation, and you will see thamarat, thamar, thamara, or thamarat is a word meaning a fruit. This is why even if you change the translator, you will see, here we go. This is Muslim translation in front of me. It says fruits. It doesn't say, uh, you know what you are saying. <clears throat> Did you find it? I'm looking for the one. No, I want you to read for me some thamarat. So your God, he cannot be God. The God who think that the honey is a poopoo -poo and the fruit is the food of the bees and you are the one who mentioned the bees, me, not me. Right. Okay. So how God, he, how God, he misunderstood. He no, think, no, no, no. okay. Okay. What you were saying, what you were saying was, uh -huh. prove to all there is God. Prove to all that there is God. How? how do you know that God is the creator? What, what do you mean? How, God, he will not make a mistake. God, he thinks, this God, the God of Islam, he thinks that bees eating fruits and poopoo, the poopoo is their honey. The honey is poopoo. You know, it's, yeah, yeah it says, they poop honey. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, okay, okay. Let me clarify to you that. Okay, clarify to me. That it is not talking about, see, that is the way he's explaining to them for them to understand. Oh, so, so at that time you are saying to me, those Arab, they are stupid, so Allah giving them a stupid answer. No, they are not stupid. Well, you are, stupid. you are the one who's saying to me, this is what it's meant. He is explaining to them, mistakenly, he is saying something not true. No, he's not, they are not stupid. He's just explaining to them for them to, able, to be able to understand. Okay, are you able to understand now that they eat fruits and they poop honey? No. No. So, so he did not explain to us. He, he messed it up. So now he gave the wrong information. He says, So go and eat from all the fruits. And then honey will come from your... But this is their food. The honey is their food. It's not the fruits. No, no, no. From Arabic to English is very complicated. You can only translate... My friend, I am an Arab. Don't give me this garbage. You know, you can say that to those who don't speak Arabic. I am an Arab. So it says Kuli, and we can open the interpretation of any Islamic scholar. We would we would die laughing. Right. Can you translate Haya to English? Haya, the word Haya. Translate the word what? Haya, Haya. You mean you, you you mean Hayat? Haya, yes, Haya. Hayat is life. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you said Haya is what? Hayat is life. Not Hayat. Haya, Haya. Hayah, 
Haya. Haya, say hello. No, Haya, H E. -H okay, type it for me in the in your Skype. H E Y E. My friend, type it for me in Arabic in Skype. Okay. If you don't speak Arabic, you are not pronouncing the word uh, right, and you are saying to me, and, and no, it doesn't say that. Give me the word. I wrote it. I wrote it. There is nothing called Haya. What Haya? Tell me the word Haya. What is that? Here we go. Let, let me show people what you showed to me in the chat. Haya. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Either it is Hayat, Hayat, which means life. Haya. There's no Ha. Haya. That's mean he say hello. Haya to Fulan. I said to him, hello. Not even a salamu alaikum. And what does have to do with no, no, our no. topic? What does have to do with yeah, our topic? Okay, how do you translate humbleness to English? I mean, uh, humble. My friend, English are you going to do, now change the topic, translate this and translate that? Tell me you, what this have to do with my topic. But to translate the exact word and give it its due rights. Type, it's not going to be type it for me in Arabic. Everybody see it live and I will translate. Go ahead. Okay. And what does have to do with my topic? I do not know. To show you that Arabic translating from Arabic to English can be complicated. Ah, translated from Arabic to English is complicated. What? Okay, my friend, listen, listen. Why your Muslim translation saying fruits if it is not fruits? No, it is not. Every different one I said. Okay, okay. One. Give me the translator, the one you are using. Okay. What his name? No, I use Google Translate. Google Translate, who, that's what I'm Who, who, who? Google Translate, Google Translate. Okay, we can use Google Translate, but I give me the name of the translator. You said to me a translator. You said you are, you are reading translator. Which translator is that? Google Translate. Are you using the Google Translation to translate the Quran? Yes, Google Translate. So you as a Muslim, you read the Quran from Google Translation each time. You want to read a verse in the Quran, you read the translation by using Google. No, I have the app. I have the app that I use. You have an app. Okay, so are you saying to me you don't have any Islamic translation for the Quran, correct? No. You never have it in your computer? No. Okay. So now if we go to Google Translation and we post it there, are you going to accept? No. You just told me go to Google Translate. 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 Let's see. Okay, I said to you now, if I if I copy the word, here we go, I will do it in front of everybody. Okay. If I copy it and post it in Google Translation, are you going to accept the translation? I'm going to accept if I'm going to accept the translation. You will accept? In terms of understanding it, yes, I will accept it. But so it if the translation did not come as you wish, you will not accept your saying? To understand the translation that this is what it's trying to explain, yes, I will understand. Uh, here we this go. Is this is Google Translation in front of your eyes. It says the fruits. Where is it? I'm not on your thingy right now. I'm on the court. It's in the screen. The fruits. Wait, one moment. One moment. And I will one play. Minute. I will play the word in Arabic. I will play the word in English. Okay. See it? And this is the English. The fruits. Let me see. Yeah. No, no, no. Translate the full pass. Translate the full pass. Let's see. Okay, trans guys. Here we go. So the full path is going to give different translation now. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this is the funniest this is the funniest ar ar argument ever so here we go i will translate the whole sentence and i will i will pause the whole verse actually not only one uh, word here we go do you see it then eat from all the fruits mm. 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 you said to me you said to me that the translation you are reading, it was Google Translation, and it says flower. You did lie, my friend. No, I, I, Well, how I come lie. my Google Translation is not giving you the same? You, you saw, if it is, this is Google Translation, you go, I copy exactly the whole verse, read it. This is the whole verse as it is in Arabic. And this is the whole verse translation as it is in English. Send it to me on Skype. Let me see. Send it to me on Skype. What do, you mean, comes, what do you mean send it to me? I cannot see it. Let's take a screenshot. Of it. Send it to me. Okay, I will take a screenshot. Give me a second. Here we go. Hmm. 
and I will send it to you. See, you are the one who did bring this to your God. Your God cannot be God because simply if he is God, he will not do this. He, he will not say such a silly thing. I, I send you... Uh, silly? Really? Yeah. What, what kind of God he, you know, he, he says such a thing? The Almighty. The Almighty. Almighty. Yeah, the Almighty. The, the Almighty is being funny now. No, no, no. He's not being funny. He's trying to explain well, it. To well, he is being funny. He is being yeah, funny. Please. You know, you see, just to show you how you lie to me. I ask you, I ask you, yes. who, what is the name of the translator who translated to you? You said to me, Google translation. Correct? Yes. But what you just sent me now is Dr. Mustafa Khattab translation. Right. So why you said to me, this is the translation of Google, and I said to you, do you have any translation you have? You said no. So are you saying to me, I said to you, are you saying to me you use only Google translation? You said yes. And now you are sending me Mustafa Khattab, he is a liar. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sorry, let me clarify something. Let me clarify something, please. Hmm. Can I clarify something? And this is not the Quran, by the way. What you send me, this is not even the Quran. Yes, it is. Surah no, 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 my friend. The the verse you are quoting for me, it says, min This Surah is the, Surah, yeah, chapter number six, my friend, the one you just sent me in Skype. Here we go. It's in the front of my eyes. Min this is not, this is not the verse. This is not the verse. He ate. Where is the rest of the verse? Maybe, maybe you, maybe you, maybe when you copy the screen, you did not copy the whole thing. This is a different story. Thumma kuli mina thamarat. Thumma kuli mina thamarat. So eat from the fruit. Okay, hold on. Can we go and see what it says in the interpretation? The interpretation. Ah. Wait, you told me chapter number 16, verse number 69. That's what you told me. Yeah. Uh, yes, and this is chapter number 16, verse number 16. Yeah, but you copy, you copy only. It says, Where is the first part of the verse? What do you mean the first part of the verse? It's right there. No, you said, it says, it's in front of me. It says, There is, there is before, it says, Thumma kuli mina thamarat. So the sentence we are talking about is gone. No, it's not gone. Wallahi azim. <laughs> so what are you doing? Wallahi azim. Wallahi. Okay, listen, listen. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> So chapter six, chapter sixteen, verse number sixty-nine, prove to us in many ways. Hold on, hold on, my friend. The, hold on, prove to us that the one who is, you know, who is talking, he can, he don't know anything about uh, about the creation and about how things function. Now I say to you, can we go and see the interpretation? And we can change the translator as many as you want. So okay, I will go with you. Do you know Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan? Do you know Yusuf Ali? Do you know Zakir Naik? Do you know I can show you all of them saying fruits? Zakir Naik. Fruits. Every, every Muslim says a fruits. Since when this has become a flower? I literally just show you the verse. I am not Arabic. I have this the translation. Okay, hold on, hold on. If we go right now and open the Arabic dictionary. Yes. Okay. Are we going to find that the word thamarat mean a fruit or mean a flower? What do you think? Thamarat. Thamarat, I know it to be a fruit. Okay, so this is the word thamarat. Thamarat, right. I yeah. Thamarat. Okay, guys, so he knew that thamarat is a fruit. So you're debating me about what in the last 20 minutes? Wait, 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 wait. Look at the verse. Look at the verse itself. Listen, listen. You just said you know that thamarat means fruits. You just said that. Everybody heard you. So we are arguing about what? So now thamarat. it's not a flower. It is thamarat. It is a fruit. Yes. Thamarat, yes. I consider on that one. Consider. Okay. So now Allah is saying that the bees, they eat apples and they poop honey. Wait, 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 look at look at look at look at it on your screen. He did not. Yeah. He did not say. He did not say. They eat yes. honey and they poop uh, uh, <laughs> something else. <laughs> You're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong. Okay, my friend. So the first one failed. You told me this will prove who is Allah. 
but this one fail. Do you have anything else? Okay. Do, okay. I'm asking you. Who, I'm asking you who is Allah. You are telling me. Look at the Quran. What the heck is the Quran? I will look with the Quran with you. And I want to ask you a very simple question. Do women have a sperm? Do women have a sperm? No, they don't. What if I show you that the Quran says women have a sperm and it comes from their ribs? Wait, 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 hold on. Let's get back to the one where you said, who is Allah? Let's get back to ah, the now, How come you decide to show me a verse from the Quran about how he knew about bees? And now you don't want to tell me you don't, want, you, you don't want to continue because you are the one who chose for me the bees when I ask about Allah. Now we don't want to talk about this because that will show us Allah cannot be God. Because if Allah is God, who, as, he, as you Muslims you claim, he shall not say such a silly thing. And you already you agree that women don't have a semen. They don't have a, they don't have. Uh, we uh, haven't finished. Huh? We haven't finished. What you asked me for was. Okay. How do you know that God? Chap, chap, chapter eight, yeah. How we know he's the creator or not? Because if he's the creator, he will not say such a silly thing. There's no way God he think that women she have a sperm and her sperm coming from her ribs. No, no. Let's let's get to this one first, then come to this one. We will. We are we are done with that one already. You agree with me that the word thamarat means fruits. So now, if Allah is God, if Allah is God, how Allah who is God he claim. That a human being created from two creatures, One, both of them they have gushing fluid, ejected really? fluid, and yes. that gushing fluid, that gushing fluid is coming from the man and the women, the, from the man backbone and from the women ribs. How such a thing happened? No, you see what I'm telling you. See what I'm telling you. you yeah, what what what, what, are what are you telling me? Tell me what are you telling me? Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead, tell me. One. You told me to tell you how how is their God, and I was giving you an example, and then you decided to bring. Of course, I mentioned B as an example. You decided to bring the chapter of the B, but I don't even give you my example of. So what I will bring you, I will bring you a cartoon of Mickey Mouse, because if Allah He knew how the bees, you are telling me you are talking to me as if you are talking to an atheist. You want to tell me that bees must be created by God? Man, they are organized. We know that. We believe in God. I'm a Christian. I'm not an atheist. So your answer is very silly. This is something you can say to somebody who's an atheist. I am not an atheist, my friend. I believe in God. So I'm asking you now, who is your God? You fail. If your God is, you said to me, your God is the creator. You mentioned that, not me. And that cannot be true because if your God is the creator, he created the human being. Then he should know how the created, how the human being created. So how Allah, he say that women, she have a semen and it's coming from her ribs. No. Where? Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. You can read it from verse number 6, 7, 8, as many as you want. So you can say, I am uh, misquoting. Read as many verses as you want. Ah, Surah at tariq hmm. They were created from a spotting flea. Hmm. They were created from a sporting fluid, right? Stemming mm. between the rib cage, between the bone and the rib cage. Mm. Surely he is capable of bringing them back to life. Mm. Ah, so where did Allah say that women are? A taraib, a taraib is the bones of the ribs, the top bones of the ribs of the women. Yes. Okay, you agree, guys, he agree. Take a note. So a taraib, a taraib. Hold on. No, no. You agree? You cannot. Wait, 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 wait. He did not mention women. He did not mention women. No, no, no. In Arabic, in Arabic, a taraib is a word used for women. No, 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 no. Women okay. is nisa. Okay, let, is let, nisa. let me ask you, let me ask you. You as a Muslim, when you want to understand the Quran, do you go to your scholars or you are a scholar by your own? No, no, I go to our scholars. Have you ever heard of a tabari al jalalain Al-Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir? Have you ever heard of them? Ibn Kathir. Ibn al okay, so Abu is Ibn Kathir, you mentioned Ibn Kathir, is Ibn Kathir is a valid person for you? No, no, no. Ibn Kathir is not a valid person for you? Pardon? I said, is Ibn Kathir is a good enough to explain for you those verses? No. Ibn uh, Kathir, I've never heard of his explanation. I've never read about him. Okay. Uh, you, you just mentioned to me, uh, you mentioned to me Ibn Ibn Qayyim. 
We, you we, mentioned to me yeah. Ibn Kathir yourself. You said, yeah, there is a scholar, there's Ibn Kathir, there's Al Ibn Qayyim, there is. So I'm asking so, you, which which scholar can explain to us this verse so we don't uh, waste time? Which one? Ibn Go, Abu Taymiyyah can go. You can bring those ones. Okay, can you read for me what Ibn Taymiyyah said about this? Now, Ibn Taymiyyah explained the Quran. Not from what I know, but he's a scholar. Okay, all right. So I I'm asking you, I want a verse explanation. You said to me, somebody, he did, you do not even know if he explained the Quran or not. So, okay, okay what about Ibn Kathir? Did he, did he have explanation for the Quran? No, no, you're not going to bring me the one you know. But I know. I am not asking you for the one I want. I'm asking you which one you want. Give me a book. I can open a book. Mustafa it's called Khattab. Interpretation. Mustafa Khattab, now this guy is a, is a, is a, he have a tafsir. Are you kidding me? This guy is a Pakistani. He is 30 years old. He don't even know Arabic. And he is the one who will explain the Quran for you. He just told you flower. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, no, we're not getting things messed up. That is what you said, Tariki. Is it Tariki you said that is for women? Tariki? At Taraib. At Taraib. Taraib. What is, what is Nisa? What is Nisa then? What is Nisa? Nisa is women. Taraib is the you idiot. Thank you. You idiot. Thank the, you. the word Taraib is for the bone. This is not for the women. You stupid. The Taraib oh. is a word for the bone of the women's chest. This is the word in Arabic. We use it for women. This is why. Let us open Ibn Kathir. Here we go. You are afraid of Ibn Kathir because Ibn Kathir will get you busted. Is that right? Mustafa Khattab. Let's Mustafa okay. Who is Mustafa Khattab? He is not a scholar. He is just a stupid translator. Is he even a scholar? What do you mean? If Mustafa Khattab is a scholar. This guy, he is, he is, he is, he is alive now. Since when he is a... I mean, we are talking about people who they are the masters of Islam. And you say to me, Mustafa Khattab. Okay, read for me, Mustafa Khattab. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Give me, give me the interpretation of Mustafa Khattab. Mustafa Khattab, you don't have interpretation. You are stupid now. So you are asking me to read interpretation of Mustafa Khattab, but Mustafa Khattab, he don't have interpretation. He have only translation. Translation, exactly. Translation. But this translation is not, is not interpretation. I said to you, give me a scholar you agree with, will give us interpretation for the verses. Wait, wait, let's go back to that verse. Yes, let's go back to him and let him explain it. Mustafa Khattab, as you said. Okay, explain it to me. Open Mustafa Khattab for us. One moment, one moment. You are going to read the translation. I want you to read for me interpretation for the verse. Okay. Not translation okay. for the verse. Yeah. He don't have a interpretation. This guy is not a scholar. He's he's just making money, translating a book. He doesn't speak a language even. Like Yusuf Ali. He translated the Quran into English, but he doesn't speak Arabic. <laughs> yeah, he don't go and watch, watch Yasser Qadi. He is the one who said Yusuf Ali, he don't speak Arabic. How in the world he translated the Quran? You tell me. You said Yusuf Ali right now. I did not tell you. I didn't tell Yusuf Ali. Yeah. I didn't make mention of Yusuf I know, Ali. but all of you, you don't speak Arabic. Here we go. Do you speak Arabic too? No. And you are what? trying to explain to me what the word in Arabic mean. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You bunch of crazy. How you don't speak the language? How you don't speak the language? And you can explain to me what the word mean. Thank you. Thank you. Let me explain it for you. He said, the liquid emerges between the spinal column of a man and the bones of the chest. And the bones of the chest. What chest? Chest of, chest of who? Chest, that's all. Chest of a man, of course. A man, of course. Okay, do, do, this, do, do the sperm come from the chest? <laughs> okay, listen, listen, I want, I want to go with you. Have you ever heard of somebody says that from the chest there is semen coming? Guys, what is happening here? She's not letting me talk. You, you're talking. The... Don't tell me I'm not letting you talk. Everybody can hear you. You said it says coming from the chest. Who is the idiot he believe that semen is coming from the chest? Let me talk. Let me talk. Go ahead. Yes, you're not going to interrupt, right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. He says the verse specifically says the liquid emerges emerges from between the spinal column of a man and what, the bones. What, where it says the spinal column of a man and the bones. Where the is the word the spinal column? You see, you see, my friend, you are, you are just a kid. How old are you? The one word. How so old are you? Are... How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're what? Now, you're what? Now ex... You are calling me a kid. Now you're, you're, ex... you're what? You are 19? Now I'm explaining you're calling me a kid. You are 19. Is that a problem? Yeah. yeah. I just called you a kid. You are a kid. 
You are 19 okay. years old. You do not know what you are in. Okay, don't waste my time. Watch my screen. I will hang up on you because you are a donkey. I have uh, not... exactly. Yeah, just shut up. Exactly. Just, just go. And they told me I, I will have somebody to call you and debate you. I thought I have a shake. It turned to be a kid. He did not even shave his, his cupid area. Read with me, you stupid. This is your stupid Ibn Kathir. Those are the scholars. Not a kid 19 years old. He do not know what he is talking about. Booger boy. Listen, this is Ibn Kathir saying, not me. He is created from water gushing forth. This is a water coming out of the body, not in the body. Meaning the sexual fluid that come, comes out bursting forth from the man and the women. Thus the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Due to Allah saying, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَائِبِ Meaning, the backbone of the man, the last bone, that is the backbone, the last bone in the spinal, not the spinal column, from the last bone of the man and the ribs of the women. Why Ibn Kathir is saying ribs of women? Because the word here is taraib. Do you see why I laugh at you? Taraib is for women. This is why Ibn Kathir said women. So, and the, the, from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. That is your God, who you say he is God. And we love. Let us see, we have somebody he claimed to be a Muslim. <laughs> Hello? Can you speak louder, please? I don't hear you. Can you hear me? All right, I hear you. Welcome, my friend. You are a Muslim? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Muslim. Yes. Okay, can you say the Shahada? Um, I, I'm like, um, how do you say, um, half Muslim, like... Half Muslim, what is I'm that? I'm like ha half Arabic, like my, my parents are full Arabic. Yeah, I don't care, really. I'm asking you, can you say Shahada? Uh, sh Shahada. Yeah, you never heard of it before? Um, I, I, I read like Quran, like and stuff. Oh, so how you are a Muslim? So you never heard the Quran, you never heard of uh, Shahada. So what make you a Muslim? Oh, so uh, I became a believer because uh, I was, I was raised, like. Okay. Yeah. All right. So take, take a hike. Lord have mercy. Do we have any smart individual want to talk to me? Why my luck is not good? He's half Arab, half uh, whatever. He's half. It's good to be half from everything. Like how Biden have uh, Nancy Pelosi. Who is a Mohammedan would like to call us? He is not half half. He is not a kid. We are here serious. We don't want a stupid talk. Spending 30 minutes talking about the word and then at the end he agree with me thamarat mean fruits so they are god he's an idiot you think that bees eat fruits and they shit honey do we have any muhammadan my skype is in the info of the video Any Muhammadan? As you see, we ask them, who is Allah? They say to us, do you see the bees? And do you see the bees? Yeah, I see the bees. What they have to do with Allah? Who is Allah? Do you see the cats? Meow.
Allah is the likeness of a tree. Tate is a pimp. I mean, what is the quality? He can call me, no problem. He is welcome to call. Even though I don't like to talk to pimps, but you know, people are dirty these days. What you can do? If you say, I'm not going to call to, a, I'm to speak to a pimp, then I cannot talk to any Muslim. Because being a pimp in Islam is a professionally approved in the chapter of uh, uh, the Ahzab and the chapter of the Muta. Muhammad saying, do whatever you want, but Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Well, my friend, as I know, Islam is the fastest dying religion in the world. And your prophet agree with me. Isn't it your prophet? He said that Islam is shrinking and will come back the same as a snake going back to its hole. And Christian Prince is putting your prophet and Islam in the hole. Unless you want to accuse your prophet to be a false prophet, I understand that. Aren't you Muslims, you cry about how many people live in Islam a day? You keep asking people for donation because people live in Islam, donate for us. Is that a scam of Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa and Yasser Kadhi and the rest of you? Islam is dead. Even Saudi Arabia, finally, they decide to wash their hand from Islam. No more women wearing hijab. No more Islamic police. Nobody will be forced to go to the mosque. And now even they have night club and festival parties. Even Saudi Arabia, the last country, was holding a little bit to appear like a Muslim country. Which country is a Muslim country? Even Taliban are not Muslims. By name, they are. Taliban, they are number one country in the world who celebrate Bachabazi boy. They bring a little boy. You might say to me, this is Islamic. I have to agree. However, then you have to compromise and say Islam approve. Bachabazi bringing a boy, he wear makeup, skirt, and the Muslim, they touch his bum. And then they have sex with him after the party. Which Islam country is a which which of those countries is a Muslim country? Hmm? Nobody. Who wanna practice Sharia Allah? Nobody. Islam is a Sharia law. Islam is not a religion. Islam is the law of Islam. If you don't practice Islam, there is no Islam. Who of you practice Islam? But Chabazi boys. All of those is about Bachabazi. Bring in boys decorating them as as look at this disgusting nation but shabazi no dignity no faith behind this faith a boy dressed like a girl and then they start touching her legs touching his ass and then they rape the boy Aren't you watching the news about Iran? Women are laughing at the hijab. Did you watch the, the, the wedding of the king, the, the son of the king of Jordan? Not a single Muslim woman in the family of Muhammad wearing hijab. Zero. And they are exchanging kissing with the stranger men from Europe. Mwah, mwah, mwah honey, welcome. Where is Islam? Who of you drinking camel urine as the Prophet, may Allah peace be upon him, forced you to do? None. None of you practice what Allah Prophet ordered you to do. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who would like to call me and prove me wrong? You can call me only if you are a Muslim. Remember that. Let us call this person.
Hello? Mute you too, please. Hello? Hello? Oh, here we go. Another fr another fraud. Fakira. Do we have any real Muslim? So not a single one of you knows who is Allah. Your Allah himself, he described himself the likeness of a tree. And he have a fuel which is olive oil fuel. Yet nothing like Allah. And Allah is in a niche. May Allah niche you. The similarity of Allah, the likeness of Allah, the parable of Allah, he is in a niche. Have you ever heard of a God he sit in a niche? The same person, I think. Hello? Yeah, the same person. Look. Hello? You said to me you are a Muslim woman. Uh, I contacted you on, on, on the uh, Patreon. You said to me in the chat you are a Muslim woman. Isn't you the same person? Yeah. My, my, my girlfriend is Muslim. You are what? And we have debates. You are what? My girlfriend is your your girlfriend is a Muslim woman. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. And okay. We, we we are currently debating us two, you know. All right. So what uh, is she with you now? Yeah, of course she's here. Okay, let her let her talk to me. She's scared. She's scared. You know, because she know I'm right. I, I showed her everything of her videos, all the surahs, all the. Sahih al Bukhari. Sorry, I'm, I'm not Arabic, so I, I don't speak that. Okay. And I showed her everything, and she still like don't believe me because like all her family are very like in you know like uh, Muslim and all that, and she believes like if a person like feels right in Islam, they they I I, I have to let them know you know. But I like as, as, a, as a Christian, I believe that I have to like um show the truth you know. So they just so they know the truth. But she won't let me. She doesn't accept it. You know what I mean. What, what I can do now, my friend? I mean, you are calling me for what? She can't talk to me. I can't talk to her. Man, just sit and watch I, you and her. Wait, wait, wait. Let me... Nah, she's too scared. She's scared. She's too scared. All right, All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Either there's nobody next to you. And if she is there, and she didn't want to talk to me, there's no point. Another Muslim. Suddenly we have many people saying they are Muslims now. Let's see what's happening. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, I hear you. You are live on air. Good evening. Good morning. Uh, are you? You said you are a Muslim. Yes, I'm a Muslim. All right. What do you want to say to us? Do you know? Who, do you know? Do you know who is Allah? Do you know our topic? Are you watching YouTube? I'm not on YouTube as of now. You are not what? I'm not on YouTube as of now, but oh, I saw oh, okay. I saw it earlier on. Okay, so what do you think? You know, we're talking about who is Allah. Do you know who is, as a Muslim lady? Yes, but I, I, I had some questions concerning the Quran and the Bible that I wanted to ask. Okay, go ahead. And make some comments. Okay. I'm, li I'm listening. Some certain things you said. I don't hear Islam. what? And comment on certain claims you made about Islam. Okay, a comment I said about Islam. Like what? Give, give me the comment. You made some claims about Islam. Okay, tell me one of them. I mean, you know, just saying, so, okay. Uh, yeah, so, as I told you, okay. So, help me understand this. Um, is Jesus God or Jesus God or uh, Son of God or 
is the son of God because some Christians say he is God at the same time the son of God and some say he is not God but the son of God so okay when we say when we say that the royal family the royal family I'm not I'm not saying that Jesus is from a royal family now just to give an example when I say the royal family does that mean that they are king or all of them they are royal Does that mean? Are they all kings? Hello? When I say royal family, it means it's possible that any one of them can be the king, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, the Son of God is going to be in our measurement, the crown prince. Is that correct? You say? Okay. The crown prince. You say, he, no, I didn't hear. Hold I didn't on. Hear. No, listen, listen. I'm just making it simple for you. So the crown prince, he can be the king tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. In the case of Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit, the Messiah is the Son, so He is divine. So when we say the royal, He is divine, and divine means He is God. So yes, He is Son of God, but that doesn't change anything that He is God, for the Son of God is God. But doesn't mean we have two gods, because the Bible says it clearly that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit is one God. That's why Jesus, when one of his disciples, He asked Him, said, why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. He said, I am with you all this time, and you do not know me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. So God, the Messiah, is God the Son, and he is God. For the Son, his Son is the same as the Father. Now, is your God, Allah is a God? Go ahead. No, I've not finished my, you, the, uh, your explanation is, I'm saying that among you Christians, some say, he is God at the same time the Son of God. Some say he is not God. I just answer you. You are repeating. Your, you are God. repeating yourself. You are repeating yourself. I just no, answer. I just, want to I just answer you because, because Son of God is the same. Christian. When we say listen, listen. When we say Son of God, he is Son of God. Yet he is God. So the Bible says he is God. The Bible says Son of God. Not only that, even the Bible say the Son of Man. But we know that Jesus is not a Son of any man. Son of Man mean he is by nature, by the flesh the son of man but as we know Jesus have no father so he is a son of no man so either you understand and you want to understand or you are just making noise and you don't want to listen so I'm asking you now I answer you so, about so the question please, so please okay let me let me okay. so if if he said he is God the same time son of God how can he be a spectator how can, can somebody can, be a God at the same time Hmm. Son of God, it doesn't make sense. Okay, he, I, I wanna, I wanna go with you. Be God okay, I, you, you are talking. Okay, you are saying it cannot, it doesn't make sense. How I can be the son of God without being God? Go ahead. No, I was saying. No, no I'm, I'm going, I'm going with your sense. I'm going with your sense. How I can be the son of God without being God? Because I am son of God. That's mean. Everything God has, I have. I am His son. So I have the blood of my father. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay, that's it. So if we um, we measure we measure Jesus as if it's a man, two men. Jesus is the son of his father. The son will have whatever the father have. So you are answering yourself. And you, this, you, say, you no, are say he is God, and at the same time the son of God. Because one the person, son of God, he have the nature. The son of God have the nature of God. If I I have the blood of my father. If he is sick, I am sick. If he is holy, I'm holy. If he is divine, I'm divine. If he will die, I will die. The Son of God is the same as the God Himself, yeah, who is the oh, Father. Listen, God. listen, listen, listen. Your God, your God Himself, He cannot have a son because He is not having a wife. Now, my God, the proof He is God, and that is the Messiah, He is the Son of God without having a wife. His Father, He have no wife. But how you explain oh. to me, you're talking about what makes sense. How you explain to me that your God, He said, how I can have a son, yet I don't have a girlfriend. So are you saying that Jesus has the blood of God? We are not talking about the blood. You see, you see, you're you're a prophet. You're you're a prophet. You're a prophet. You know, your prophet. He said, Muslim women are stupid and they have have a brain. I said to you, me, I have a blood of my father. Do you agree? You said yes. Okay. So I'm I'm measuring myself as a human being. So I'm not saying that Jesus have a blood of the Father. You are a stupid dummy like your prophet. I said to you, he is a son of God, so he have whatever God the Father have, for he is his son. If my father he have AIDS, I will have AIDS. 
If my father, he have, you know, diabetes, most likely I will have diabetes. If my father, he don't, uh, uh, you know, like he have some kind of sickness can be transmitted to me, I will have it too. The father is holy, the son is holy, and only God is holy, and that is Jesus. And this is why in your Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19 says, that when the angels came to Mary, they said to her, we are here to announce to thee the gift of a holy son. Do you agree that Jesus is holy? So, do you agree so, that uh, Jesus? Do you agree? Do you agree that Jesus? Do you agree? Listen. Do you agree? No, no. Don't, don't, don't skip. Don't skip. I give, I give you a question. I give you a question. I give you a question. Will it prove? Will it prove that Jesus is holy? Listen. You call me many times before. You are an idiot. You don't even let people talk. I ask you: Is Jesus holy? Yes or no? Is he holy? Yes or no? He is not. Okay, the Quran says in chapter 19, verse number 19, he is the gift of the Holy Son. Read it. The Bible says that. So you, you hold on, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. You're stupid. You lie, you said the Quran. You lie, you lied, you said the Quran. Shut up. So now I show you from the Quran that Jesus is God. You don't want to read it. Shut up. I don't have time for half a brain. Never speak to a Muslim woman. Big mouth. Muhammad is not holy. The Quran confirmed that. Even Allah himself is praying to Jesus saying, May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. Let us read together. This is your Muhammad. You Muslim keep saying he is a holy prophet. He is a scumbag. May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. Chapter 48, verse number 2. And this is my Lord. He is the holy son. He is a holy son of who? Of God. And what make him holy? For he is from above. Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. And the second I showed her what her Quran is saying, she didn't want to read it. And she denied that the Quran says that Jesus is the Holy Son. Do you see how they lie? We show it to you in the front of us in the screen. And this is their Quran. And this is their translation. And they say it doesn't say that, CP. And no Muslim can explain to us even why even Jesus have no father. What the point? which is a contradiction for the Quran, because the Quran in chapter 25, verse number 54 says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِرًا Every creature after Adam was reborn or born of sexual marriage. Lineage by marriage, by sex. Every human being, but not Jesus. Why? They can't explain it because Muhammad is a thief. He stole the story from the Bible as usual. He said, yes, Mary, she was a virgin, but doesn't make any sense. Because why Mary is a virgin Islam? What that will do to Jesus? This is a miracle nobody can prove. I can say my mother, she can claim that she gave birth to me and she was a virgin. Yes, brother, she can. Your mother, she can. Nobody can prove or disapprove. This miracle have no sense in Islam. This miracle have a lot of sense in a Christianity and in a Christianity alone. Yet the Quran says, it is he who created you from water. What water we are talking about? The sperm has appointed for him kinder by blood. Jesus from the blood of who? As you know, the Quran says, Call them by the name of their fathers. Call them by the name of their father. Who is the name of the father of Jesus? How we can call him? This is why you will see the Muslim, they say, Jesus, the son of Mary. But this is contradict the Quran.
It's forbidden for a Muslim to call somebody by the name of anyone except the name of their father. So who is Jesus? Who is his father? He's the son of God. Who is the one who made Mary have a son? God, who is the one who made my mother have a son? My father. Arrogant, ugly, half a brain, disgusting, disrespectful, and that's why I cannot treat them with respect. Hello? Hello? I'm fine, you're a Muslim? Why do you keep insulting her? Because she is... As a, as a man. Okay. And then you're supposed to... Okay, hold on. So are you saying to me that a man should not insult a woman? Of course. So why your prophet, he said that women are half a brain and most of them, they will go to hell. Go ahead. Where, where? where did here, here we go. I will, I will show it to you on the screen. And you are saying to me, I'm making things up. Here we go. So because... He insulted so do you so do you agree do no i am not insulting her i'm giving her what she ah, deserves okay. she is a liar she refused to read the quran ah, i showed i showed, her, I showed her i showed her i showed her i explained she kept repeating herself being stupid and i showed her that jesus is holy she said no he is not holy i showed her the verse in the quran so i wanted to ask you the same question then do you agree that chapter 19 verse 19 says that the holy son she said, no, the Quran doesn't say that. Are you going to repeat the same lie? Go ahead. No, no, no. Because maybe she, I'm asking she you. doesn't know. She didn't know better. Okay, listen, I'm asking you now, now. Yes. yes. The Quran says in chapter 19, verse number 19, oh. he is the Holy Son. Do you agree with the Quran or not? He's the Holy Son. Can, can you read it in Arabic? Do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know Arabic? Yeah, a little bit. Then shut I up. You do not know Arabic. Arabic. I'm showing it to you in the translation, okay. which language, which, what kalima, what are you talking about? We are talking about different word. Kalima is a word. Kalima is a word, you idiot. You see, I'm you, what you, know. you, you ask me to, res you ask me to respect Muslims and then you Muslim, you bring me word have nothing to do with our topic. I, it's in the front of you. Read it in the screen. This is your Muslim translation. This is your Quran. Every one of you give different translation for the Quran. Why? Because you Muslim lies. You don't even give the same translation. Which translation you like to read? Read me the Arabic verse. Do you know how to read it? You read it. Go ahead. Chapter 19, verse number 19. Let, let me. Mm. I didn't open. You have it in YouTube. Mm. I'm using my phone. So what? If I open YouTube with my phone, eh? So what? Don't uh, no, don't no, look. No, no, yes. We can't. No, you can okay, mute, you can you can mute YouTube. You can mute YouTube. Okay, let me. Hmm. Okay. But do you agree, your prophet? He said women are half a brain, or no? Remember, I will not let you go with this topic too, because we have to go back to it. Hmm. Give me the translation for chapter 19, verse number 19. Very simple. Yeah, 19. Very simple. Mute you. Mute you too. Let me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking so long? I tell you, if I open my YouTube, it's going to be soon. You open your YouTube already. We heard my voice, so it's open. Don't stop giving me excuse. You are searching yeah. Google now. Let me try to mute it. It's muted already, because if it's not muted, I will hear myself. Stop lying. I'm hearing your voice reading. You are reading here. That's what no, you are not. Oh, let me. 
Muted, muted. Okay, قالت. Okay. I'm seeing here. قالت هنا. I did not. I said nine. I said nineteen, nineteen, nineteen. Read it. Mm. Okay, translate for us. Translate for us. I'm using my phone. No, oh, phone. Are you using your phone or your brain? What the translation have to do with the phone now? I know what are you reading. You do not know Arabic. You are reading the Quran in your language, made sound like Arabic letters. I know you don't know Arabic. Now tell me what it's mean. How? Oh, oh. Tell me what the what the meaning. Why you are repeating again? Said, Give me the meaning. Said, uh huh. He said. Uh huh. I am uh, a prophet, prophet from your God, your Rabbi, from your God. Uh huh. He's a prophet. Okay. Prophet from your God. Ah, uh, he's a he prophet from your God. Okay. Uh, let me let me go this YouTube. Bro. Mm. Hello. What hello, man? Just tell me that. I mean, the translation. All of them. Yeah, this is, is seven words. Just to mute YouTube. You said, yeah. Take screenshot yeah. if you want. I hear you. Okay, he's dead. Hmm. What's happening? Do you want to call a friend? Do, do you hear me? Uh, I'm, uh, you're not talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm I mean, what's the problem? It's just a stupid. It's just a small five, six words. Just a translated man. You are searching Google. I know, I know. You are a coward like no, the rest of them. No, no. Why is taking you forever? Look, just tell me what the what the look, sentence mean. It's a sentence. Look, you are insulting again. Calm because down, calm down. because you are you being a liar. Run. You are being a liar. It doesn't take all this time to tell me what it means. You, you, you are the one who said you to me. You are the one who said to me, show it to me in Arabic. So I did show it to you in Arabic. And we are spending the last 15 minutes just so you can give me the answer. And I keep repeating for you. Yeah, Please translate. Okay. So now right, stop. You don't need to open YouTube. Open your Quran. Stupid idiot. You are a liar. You are a fraud like your prophet. Open your Quran. Don't open YouTube. I gave you the verse number. I gave you the number, number of the chapter. And now it's still you. And you did read it for me. Everybody heard you. And it's still you do not calm know down, the answer. Shut up. Don't call me again. You are a donkey like the prophet. Calm down. A person who is a Muslim, he insults women. The Quran says, Women are not equal to the men. A man, he can beat them. And you are telling me why you are insulting her? Your prophet says a man will not be asked why he is beating his wife. Why? Because you must have respect women, don't you? It's a sign of respect. A woman is half a brain. Most of women will go to hell. Give me charity, give me your earring, give me your bracelet, Muhammad said, so you can go to heaven. Ah. And the woman, she asked him, hello, why we are half a brain, Muhammad? Muhammad, he said, isn't it the Quran says that a woman, she is half witness? Isn't it the Quran says that you cannot pray when you are? having your period and this is what I saw when I go to dream to 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 heaven is it you have deficiency in your wisdom and your religion so you are asking me to respect the women she is a Muslim in your prophet word she have deficiency in intellect and intelligence and when I say to her you are stupid you say to me why well, you are saying that 
Muslim women, according to Islam, she have a defect. And actually, the second you read what Muhammad saying, you will see that Muhammad is a stupid because of the women she have a defect, as he said, then the defect is coming from Allah, not from the women, because the maker should be accused of wrongdoing, not the win is made, because what is the problem? A defect. A defect. You have a lack of common sense. If somebody have a lack of common sense and she have her period, she will go to hell. And that is the evidence of the stupid Muhammad. Hey women, give me your money if you want to go to heaven. And look here, if they are going to go to heaven because they are bad, how giving money will make them go to heaven? You see the stupid Muhammad? He's a fraud. He's a con. He's a conning man. And women, they start giving their earring and their bracelet. And now women, those Muslim women, they will go to heaven. Why? Because they gave him their earring and their bracelet and their gold and their silver. Now your way to heaven is ready. It's open. What is the deficiency in her intelligence? Muhammad said, isn't it true that women can neither pray or fast during menses? Look, the stupid idiot. So if a woman, she have menses and she cannot pray, and he is the one who forbid them from praying or practicing fasting during menses, that is deficiency in the brain. A Muslim who beat women, he is asking me to respect his sister. I don't respect you. I don't respect her. Both of you are liars. And when I give you a verse, you say to me, show it to me in Arabic, you refuse to translate. Why? Because the translation is an embarrassment. And then they ask me, be patient with those liars. I cannot be patient with them. It's a waste of time. You cannot debate a liar, my friend. You cannot. Anything you show them in the front of their eyes, they will deny it. We show them that Jesus is holy. Isn't it the Quran says, Salamun alayya yawma wuridtu. Peace be upon me the day I am born. How you can be a sinner and there's peace upon you? Not from anyone. Jesus giving himself peace. The Muslim, they say, peace upon Muhammad. Jesus says, peace be upon me. The day I am born, the day I die, the day I am resurrected. If you go in the Quran, you will see the same sentence repeated, but a different way. And about who? About someone supposedly is the cousin of Jesus only. Supported this is the son of Zechariah, which is John the Baptist. In the case of John the Baptist, in chapter 19, verse number 15, it says, Peace be upon him the day he is born. Peace be upon him. In the case of Jesus, peace be upon me. Upon who? Upon me. Salamun alayya. Jesus, for he is God, he is saying, peace be on me. He do not need anyone to give him peace. For he is the King and the Lord of peace.
Who is a Muhammad and have the courage and the knowledge? He is not just an angry mule. He shout at me, he refused to read, he refused to translate. They refuse whatever they say, we say.